And they're set to go. That flat broke at the Meadows. The horse and gelding trot. Here are the current odds. H.H. Killington, 9 to 2. Florida Jewel bet down to 5 to 2. And Billy Joe, Jim Bob, 5 to 1. This is a 5 8 mile oval. The stretch is 608 feet. Here's track announcer Roger Houston. In the certified vacation, Breeders' Crown. Here they go. Running, going to the lead. Number four, Super Speedy, between horse the two, AJ's image. Up on the outside, the end of the turn, the seven, Cougar Low Bell. The outside, the eight, no sacks, please. Charges to the front end to take the lead. Racing down along the rail, the one, your worst nightmare, gets away fifth as the race around the turn. Eight change, Killington between horses as the race over to the first quarter in a speedy 27 and one fifth. The end of the lane, passing into the first time, coming to the three eights. No sex, please. Gets to the wood, racing up on the outside. AJ's image going the long mile second, racing into the turn third. Super speedy, fourth on the outside. AJ's Killigan as it race around the turn. Your worst nightmare, fifth, up on the outside. Backstreet guy, now sixth and coming on. Followed to the outside with Billy Joe, Jim Bob, past the half, 57. Seven and three fifths, racing to the backside. Cougar Lobel locked in at the rail. Up on the outside, Florida Jewel. Down along the rail, Jazz Pro from way back. Bold Herbert can see them all. Down the backside they go. We got five in, six on the outside. The end of the turn, on top of the field as the race around the turn. It's AJ's image to get his head to the front. No sex, please. Moving three wide on the outside. Billy Joe, Jim Bob, now four wide. H.H. H. Gillington between horses. Three quarters, 127 and four. As the race around the final turn. It's Billy Joe, Jim Bob on the outside. No sex, please. Fights to hang on at the rail. Down the stretch they come. Billy Joe, Jim Bob, with a furious rush, super speedy. Billy Joe, Jim Bob, 157 and four. So Billy Joe, Jim Bob captures our first Breeders' Crown race tonight, driven to victory by Paul McDonnell. And McDonnell, the man who one year ago turned in the amazing story with, with the come from behind story one year ago. And okay. there's a look at the winner tonight, Billy Joe, Jim Bob, 10 wins coming into tonight, and now the 11th victory, a big one. Well, you know, owner Lori Wade commented that she, if she ever owned a colt, she would name him Billy Joe, Jim Bob, after the many members of the Walton clan of the popular CBS family drama, The Waltons. Remember that? This looked like the whole Walton clan coming on here. They were driving four and five wide of the stretch, and Billy Joe, Jim Bob, taking out three wide around that final turn. It was an excellent move in the proper timing here, and Billy Joe, Jim Bob, just gets up over Super Speedy. An excellent effort there. So Billy Joe, Jim Bob takes the first Breeders' Crown event of the night. So Billy Joe, Jim Bob, the winner, owned by Lori Wade, bred and trained by Michael Wade. The homebred, a winner. We'll be back. Well, there's a look at the happy winner's circle. Paul McDonnell, who drove Bates Fella to victory last year, now drives Billy Joe Jim Bob in the horse and gelding trot in the Breeders' Crowd. Billy Joe Jim Bob was odds on his last four starts, got away at 5-1 to one tonight. Here's the returning prices, Billy Joe Jim Bob, 13 89 80 and 6 40 Super Speedy finished second, 16.20 and 9.60. And H.H. Killington was third, $5 even. Time of the mile, 157 and four. Billy Joe Jim Bob, sired by Balanced Image out of the tough cookie mare, Ginger Jewel. Right now, let's go to John Pavlov. I guess nothing is better than perfection. Two drives in the Breeders' Crown Series and two victories. This was a thrilling drive as you turned for home. Did you find better footing out in the middle of the racetrack, Paul? Well, I don't know. Maybe it was, but uh, he, he just had a ton of trot when I pulled him, and uh, I just let him trot around were the you last turn. Were you sort of happy to see the speed duel on the front end between AJ's image and no sex? Please set it up for you a little better. Well, it sure helped. You know, I, I knew there'd be, with 11 horses in the field, there'd be a lot of speed up front, and uh, 
when I hung back, it uh, sure helped me. All right, let's take a look at it and see if we can get your comments, Paul. He is second over, I believe, behind AJ's image on the outside. Here they're turning for home. Why make the move now? Well, it looked like uh, AJ's image was struggling a bit on the outside, and uh, I, I wasn't sure how much horse Ron Waples used up to get to the front, and I thought I'd make my move around the turn. The horse trots the turn real well, so uh, when he when I let him go, he just uh, he was had a ton of trot. Is there just better footing out there? This really work out well for you because of that? Well, I, there could be. Like I say, I, I didn't even hit the wood, so I wouldn't even know how the footing is on the rails. So uh, it turned out good. Later tonight, Bay's fella, the horse you stunned the harness racing world with. Last year, good luck, Paul McDonnell. Thank you very much. All right, back to you, Bruce Beck. Thank you very much, John Pavlock. Here are the official results. The final order of finish, Billy Joe Jim Bob was your race winner. Super Speedy was second. H.H. Killington finished third. Your worst nightmare was fourth. No sex, please. Last year's winner was fifth, and Bold Herbert was sixth. Backstreet Guy finished seventh. AJ's Image, who contested for much of the mile, finished eighth. Florida Jewel, Cougar Lobel, and Jazz Pro.